here and making really simple frames here. All it is a piece of wood with another piece of wood at the bottom. Now what you could do is actually do a you know um, rim, but there's a little overlap here, so the, the idea is the bee is going to build down from here. And uh, this just fits right here on top of the on top of the uh, this bay hive. So my original one was trying to convert the actual size ones into this, which has wax. Um, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm actually going to do just these. Now there's a problem here, right? Look how they sit together. Bees can't get through. Well, let me show you a simple, uh, simple solution, right? So all I'm going to do is add these little spacers right here, really cheap. You get a box of these, and I'm going to show you. All right, so basically here is the spacer, and all I do is I'm not sticking it in on the side here. I don't know if you see that at the side. I'm actually going to stick it down at the bottom. So stick it right in here. So that's firm. Look at that. Little spacer here. One on the other side. And what I've done now is just created um, cool, cheap spacer. So these were super cheap to make. I'll put some on the other side here. You know, technically speaking, I could just do it in the middle. I'm going to try that, actually, because... Let me see something here. It's in the middle. Just checking something here. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, this is the first time I did it, so I had the idea in my head, and now what I'm trying to do is just test it out here. See how this works. So I'm putting down some more spaces on. This is a second one. This is a freaking bent a little. Push down on something here. Yeah, it's too big a hole. So what I want to do is actually, if I angle these up a little, right? And I put these in the middle, one with, one without. That works. So I'm actually angling them up. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Crap. It's not working either. So I always have to tweak. This one's working okay. Well, I'm going to see what happens if I actually put it up here. really want it close so just the bees can fit through but you know what I'm gonna try this way instead I'm putting it actually with the top bar here um, I want to try just for kicks I'm gonna try middle spacing the bees are checking me out So I'm putting in the middle just to try something here. Well, I guess that's why you have it, because it, it, it can slide back and forth. So I need a spacer here too.
Yeah, so I'm going to do alternative, alternative. The middle doesn't work, so I'm bending the crap out of these things, though. Doesn't matter so much. As long as I can keep getting them in there. So what's great about doing cheap. So I'm going to do alternative. Al alternative. Alternative spacing. This wood is actually better than this cheap wood, pine wood, or whatever it is that they use for the frames. Right. I'm running out though. There's only negative side here. Uh, the other thing too is I could try right on the side here. Trying different things, can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, you're just looking at me, looking at the sky, hearing me talk. You know, but so many TED Talks are that way, just watching a guy on the stage. What's different between watching a guy, you know, here? And, um, hmm. Trying to figure out how to do this, I guess alternatives, alternative spacing. So I'm doing this for the first time, so what I'm actually doing is doing it like this. Let me show you. So I've got one, two, right? And this helps me keep kind of frame order. I think. I think this is going to work out good. So, and I'm not using as many. I'm not using one on every, every one, but I'm just using two per frame. See what it's going to look like. So it's going to look like like this. So as you can see, here's the frames. I can fit one more in here. One, two, three, four, five, six frame little uh, queening chambers. Right. And they fit in here. That should be fine these can get in there a lot better than this one here right would you say I think so